What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. Okay, another episode of BFFs. Uh, finally, a new merch drop. We're all wearing it. By far, I think our best merch drop we've had yet. It's oh, yeah. sick. Um, we're all wearing different versions. I get just the BFF. I don't know if you can see. The Dave's back. is different. I think Dave's might be my favorite. It has three smileys on the back, BFF's podcast. And then me and Josh's are the same, but different colors. I don't know if you can see Josh's, but you might be able to. I'm trying to like we'll have, flip my we back can, here. Yeah, and we can put graphics in. Yeah. But they're yeah. on sale now. So if you want to stop, go get it. As always, limited supply. By the way, just curious, does, does this clash, this color? I was wondering with these what, jeans. What, with the jeans? Uh, yeah. maybe, uh, maybe next time go darker, darker jeans. Yeah, I was thinking that. I was thinking maybe. that. Okay, you can only see top uh, half. Uh, Comfortable as hell, these hoodies, by the way, right? Like, yeah, they these are. These ones They're are super soft. soft. Yeah. These are the best looking and best feeling that we've had. So buy up, buy, buy, buy. Um, boop, boop, boop. And now let's get, to, get into this episode. BFFs, we are back. We took a one week vacation. Um, I don't know if we took a vacation. Bree, you were traveling. I was traveling. Where, where were you, Bree? Work? Yep, I was work. I had a tour in ASU and then I had one in Boulder. So I was all over the place. I was in St. Bart's. Yeah, and you we were, were having living trouble your scheduling. Best life. I had a good vacation. Um, so we're back and we got a special guest, Tila Dunn. Thank you for joining us. And you come off hot. Before we even started, mm -hmm. I was like, I didn't realize you're going to be in with in the studio with Josh. Or so I'm like, oh, good, you're there. You're like, I'm not going to be late. I don't want you to do what you did to Tana. Tana deserved it. <laughs> Tan Tana wasn't. It wasn't about being on time. Tana just did, was a no show. So I I'm not a crazy person. She that was the second strike on her. So, anyways, welcome. I'm glad you could join. Uh, and let's get right into it. So actually, t you're from Jersey, huh, Tila? Yeah, I'm from Jersey. Uh, I moved out here when I was like 16, though, so I've been out here forever. But yeah, Jersey girl. And how did how did you rise the fame? Like I was talking to Bree before you guys came on. She's like, yeah, she's huge. She's been around for a long time. Um, so give us the brief background for people that don't know you. Like, how did you become, I guess, who you are right now? Um, okay, my story is kind of weird because I started acting when I was six years old. So I've been acting like literally all my life. Can and I ask a question? Yes. Sorry to cut you off. I always wonder with child actors, were you like just waddling around? You're like, hey, I want to be an actor. Or do you get pushed into it? Like, I can't imagine a six year old even knowing what that means. So my older sister started acting before me and I was just like, so obsessed with my sister she was a big inspiration to me and i was like i want to do what she does and my parents were like i don't know and i was like please 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 and they're like okay we're gonna test it out but if you don't like it we are taking you right out of this immediately and i was like okay and then um i started booking like a bunch of national network commercials and then i was like i want to do tv and then i booked law and order and law and order svu and then i booked the wonder pets which is that like nick jr show i do the you were on wonder pets yeah i'm turtle tuck Yes. Wow. How iconic How is that? Do you remember that? What show? the fuck? Yeah, I could do the voice right That's now. Ready? Cool. Yeah, yeah let's it, hear please. it. Hi, guys. It's me, Tuck. And we're on BFFs. Yo, this, so crazy. Crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. This so, all right. is crazy. So, all right. I'm putting life. things together. <laughs> Wonder Pets was a cartoon, and you were the voice of a dog. I was the first, the voice of a turtle. Turtle, turtle. Uh, turtle Tuck, and I did that from 6 to 13. And so then I was homeschooled because I was missing so much school. And then I booked the Naked Brothers Band. I was Juanita on the Naked Brothers Band, that, like, Nickelodeon show. I was obsessed with that and Alex Wolf. And then I kind of got, like, my big, big break when I booked Are We There Yet, which is a spinoff of the movie. And we did 100 episodes of that, and I played the daughter. I played Lindsay Kingston Persons, and Terry Crews plays my dad, and Ice Cube played my uncle. And then I didn't start like doing social media until I was like 15, 16, just because I was so bored on set. So then I just started making YouTube videos, and then that kind of took off. I did like a bunch of so, so many embarrassing YouTube videos. Like I did a bunch of these like truth or dare videos, kissing all these guys, and then they got like 50 million, 15 million views on YouTube. And then How I old just, were you when you were doing this? Like 17. 16, so you just 17. run around making out with dudes? dudes. On, yeah, on I mean, I was, I was, a lot of people thought like, oh, this girl's like just for the streets and all this. I was a virgin. Like I was just like kissing boys because that was like the only thing I could do at the time. Like people but, like, did not what, even know. What was the video? Like just like, let's see how many boys I can kiss on the streets no, today? No, no, no. It was like guys I was talking to. I would do truth or dare videos and people would be like, make out with them. And then I just would. And then the videos would just 
like you got blow good up. views. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. And cloud then, farming. Kind of. I guess I was cloud farming before cloud farming was a thing. And then, um, yeah, I just kept up with that. And then it didn't start doing TikTok until like end of 2020. And then my TikTok, the fun fact, blew up. And then, yeah, but it's, it's crazy because I get recognized for so many different things. People are like, oh, she's just a TikTok girl. She's just that annoying girl. I can't swim. But like, I've actually been acting forever and acting is more my main thing. But I have media. a question on acting. And this yes. is like that you I don't you may take offense be like ooh what a rude question but i've always thought anybody can be a voice actor oh i mean it's like maybe i don't know you know how you always see like cartoons or not cartoons but animated films like pixar films and it'll be like starring Brad Pitt and yeah, starring like random actors but well they're not even they're famous a lot of times but it's like well if they weren't famous and I, they just put my, if I just was, you know, I don't know, like in Toy Story, like Buzz Lightyear, <laughs> and it was my voice, couldn't, like what, I'm just talking into a microphone. Could I be like an awesome voice actor? I think people get that wrong because they, they think, oh, well, you don't have to memorize lines when you do animation because you're like reading the script. But you Correct. actually have to do so much more than as if you were just like in front of the camera because you have to put all that energy and whatever your character is filming just into your voice so i end up in the studio doing crazy things with my hands and stuff because it's like turtle tuck is doing this or like i'm grunting or whatever so i don't <clears> know <throat> it's different i like it a lot but do you have to have know. like a cool voice or can you just be anybody i don't know you I have mean, a very distinctive voice i would say i think my voice is very like unique and like raspy and kind of weird so i feel like that's why I also was on DC Superhero Girls, that Cartoon Network show. I played Bumblebee. I mean, I feel like I feel like talking as like you know a professional voice actor over here because oh. I was just in Toronto filming for an animation. No, Wait, big I'm deal. in Toronto I right now. I'm in no your hometown deal. right now. Wait, I know you are. You literally went back the day I left, Dave. Like I left and you came. At Not same a time. true. I'm tra I'm terrible it planning. Took, it took terrible me planning. Three seconds to be trending in Canada because I got in fight <laughs> with a local blog. Like the second I the oh, second nice. I landed. No. Nice. I also saw you gave us some pretty high ratings for pizza though in Toronto. Like. People were like, oh, you won't find any good pizza. And then like the first one, you found a pretty good pizza. North Brooklyn was spectacular. I got like 15 spots I'm going to. So oh, I'm excited. Wow. Wow. 15 wow. spots. Wow. That's a lot yeah, of Yeah, I'm here all week. I'm yeah. here all week. I saw you so singing with some flags too. You were singing your heart out. Mm. Nice little I, uh, O Canada. The, <laughs> o Canada, I do it from the bowels. Mm. I get deep and I do it. But yeah, no, I'm here all week. I'm going to the Red Sox Blue Jays. Uh, I'm going to go to the Raptors game, I think Thursday versus Sixers. Nice. And the Leafs Bruins on Friday. So I got a wow. full schedule. Anyways, we sidetracked. Um, yeah. What I was yeah, saying always, is that <laughs> voice acting isn't as easy as I think some people make it seem. Because she is right that, like, you do have to put everything. everything that you would display in, like, your eyes or, like, your body language when you're acting in front of a camera. Just in you your You have voice. to put it all in your voice. So you do end up doing some, like, crazy-ass shit when you're in that studio Insane. trying to make that I'm like, I energy so come crazy. out. I'm like, I crazy, yeah. I, well... <laughs> I think I could be like a spectacular voice actor. I'm I mean, you are in front of a go mic. Off. You have a very time, cool, deep so. voice, Dave. So I Thank say you. go for it. Thank you. I appreciate that, Tila. Um, <laughs> and you mentioned it a little bit. So again, we get all the background. So the TikTok and the swim video, you, my people tell me everyone hates you on TikTok, but that's why you're so big and you like play into it like yeah. that you have a cringe factor. Oh, yeah. I, I troll on TikTok. I mean, I don't take myself seriously like on TikTok at all. It's like, who cares? I don't care that much. And people hate on me so bad on TikTok. I don't even know why anymore, but I don't have, really care. Like, have you ever seen the video? Have you seen, have you seen the video, Dave, where she can't Let, swim? The can't swim that she was like, it, people are saying it's just an excuse to show her ass, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But the truth is, I actually can't swim to this day still. So that's not fair. But okay, it was also I'm like gonna, part I'm, ass showing a little bit. I mean, my body right. looked good that day. But like, okay, that okay. There we go. There we go. The I, that, genuinely, that wasn't why I did it. Like I, I, I will be the judge of that. Let's see okay. this video. Oh, no, no. Put it up. Of course we have oh, to play no. it. Fun fact, actually, this really, was so really sad fact. Though. But I did I it for like two swim. seconds. <laughs> I literally don't know how to swim. <laughs> Come on. You can't guys. say that isn't about showing swim. your butt. Like this video if you can swim and tag somebody to teach me. Please. I oh, barely... We're saying that I, was an ad, that was a not safe for work ass video. Come on, what are you talking? Have you I, sat here and been like, this I, is not about me showing my ass? But it was like two, it was for two <laughs> seconds and people made it seem like it, I did it for like 10 seconds. Like I turned around for like two seconds. Still, the two seconds was the ass show. Okay. That's okay, an ass okay. video. Okay, that has okay, nothing okay, to do okay, with okay. swimming. You could yeah, have been in the middle good. of the jungle. 
Yeah, yeah. And talking about swimming, so would I. Uh, same, same video, same video. <laughs> yeah. So have you publicly tried to be like, no, that was about swimming, or you just no, you know it, and you just troll people. No, I just troll people, and then I made even more videos longer, turning around longer, just playing into it. Nice. Troll yeah, she I made a it. bunch right, going that's... into it. Oh yeah, so you many. should do. That was the start of it, it, but I did even more. All right, I listen. We just met, but I'm on your side. I like that. Uh, you should make an entire video yelling at people to get their mind out of the gutter and like turn around, be like, anyone who thinks it's about my ass is not about it's my not ass. It's not about my ass. They're like, eyes, like a- up, <laughs> eyes up, yeah. eyes up. Eyes right. up here. Right. Or just do the whole video yelling, but you're facing the wrong way from yeah. the camera, right? So yeah. you're like facing the pool yelling the whole time. Awesome. You know what's yeah. funny? I genuinely think I did that video to like show my boobs more than to show my butt, but it was more about my butt because I had just recently got my tits done then, so... Kind of funny. Uh, yeah, you're you're in the uh, tits dung club. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Coming Bree. up on two years next mm-hmm. month. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Congrats, Woo. Bree. How are your tits doing? They're doing great. I actually, They're you came up, you came up to me in Vegas and were like, "Your tits look great." I just I got mine done two years ago, and I was like, "Team tits." Yes. Is that like yes. a is that like a Wrangler Jeep thing? You know, you I, beep at each other when you pass. Yeah. Like, oh, fake tits. Like, yeah, it's hey, like yeah. Oh, I see you. I see you. They do a little like they do a little like readjustment or something. They're just yeah. like boop, boop, you know what I'm saying? Do a little titty shake. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. that's sick. Yeah. That's oh dope. my god, I was I was drinking an espresso martini in Vegas and I saw Brianna and like her her squad and I was like. Oh, I am going up to her. I am. I love this woman. <laughs> They're actually not a squad her. anymore, though. No, oh. we're back together. Oh. What? Yeah, <laughs> we're back together. Thank I don't know God. how you finessed Thank that, Brianna. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna pretend I don't know this bitch. I know her. She's great. I love her. <laughs> yes, you're the best. <laughs> is that like kind of surreal for you, Brie? Like, if somebody like Tila comes up to you, is like, hey, fan. Yeah, because she's been in the public spotlight forever. You're relatively new still to it. Yeah, it was cool in Vegas. A lot of people were coming up to me and liked me, and I was like, I was, I was a fan of you. Like, what David Dobrik came up to me, and I almost shit my pants. I was like, this is crazy. <laughs> You're like, that's I was watching insane. Him forever. Yeah, insane. Yeah. Is that is that good or bad? He came up to me too. It's like, oh, I wish you came up to me like a year ago, right? I know, but still, I don't know. I always have a soft spot for him. I grew up watching. him. What do you guys look at each other? He's in the. He's fucking in the news for not great reasons, right? Hey, I don't no, know I what's up David Dobrik? So am I. I'm in the... What do you mean, David Dobrik? Yeah, isn't he with the whole Wittick thing right now, too? Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, he's been dragged for the last oh. like, year and a half. See, oh. it, it, here's Jeff the problem that I have. Wittick, who was like one of our original fights here with BFF. Mm-hmm. That's true, that's true. I've now like befriended and become like pretty friendly with him. He cuts my hair. So no I have this... <laughs> I, yeah, I, I have like this problem with me, which is if I'm friends with somebody who you don't like, I inherently start not liking for no mm. reason at all. Yeah. You're so loyal. It's, yeah, it's like, it's a problem. I don't know him well enough to be that loyal. But it's like, oh, you don't like him? Well, then I won't fucking like him. I don't know why I do that, but I do that a lot. No, so it's a good move. Um, that's a, that's a I good move. love yeah. David, though. David came up to me like four years ago and introduced himself to me because he was obsessed with the Wonder Pets growing up. And that's the all day. He's so like, I love that's... Tuck. Tuck was my favorite. I was like, what? So... The reason actually we have you on, well, not on, I'm glad like you're on, but you, you have a new show coming out imminently, right? April 29th, April Crush? April 29th, yeah. It's, um, it's a Hulu movie. It's called Crush, and I play this girl named Stacy Clark who's like the rich, fun friend of Paige, played by Rowan, and it's basically a rom-com lesbian love story. It's so cute. And oh, I one of those. Wait. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be really, really good. Uh, you know what's funny? And this would have been a very embarrassing segment if it was on TV. But we we were, I was doing my pregame, like reading all, getting everything up. And I don't know if you have the sheet. Do you guys have the sheets in front of no, you? No, uh, we ran out of printer paper. Yeah, mine's on my so, phone too. So <laughs> there is a picture of the the front of it, which by the way, it looks like you got left out of, by the way. Well, it's Tila. because it, that's the love triangle. So it's like, okay. those are the girls that are all fighting for each other, basically. Okay, so and then there's a. Okay, so there's three girls. Oh, I guess we can pull it up. There's three yeah. girls, and then there's another photo to the right with a guy, the main girl, and Tila. Uh, we're looking at it, and I hadn't seen Tila before. Oh, I knew you were black, 
and I'm looking at this lead picture. I'm like, my God, they made her white. Like, where no. is she in this picture? <laughs> we were literally looking no. for her. And I'm not like, in that photo. <laughs> yeah, Austin to my left, he's like, yeah, that's fucked up. Like, where is she? And then we looked at the photo to the right, like, no, 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 no. she's no, just not, not in that her. picture. Thought yeah, they made I was going to be like, <laughs> yeah, we couldn't figure it out because I hadn't seen what you looked like yet. I, but yeah. I, I knew you were black. I was like, about something to cancel is definitely Hulu. off. <laughs> yeah, we were. I was no, getting ready to go yes, after so Hulu. That's so funny. That would have been crazy. <laughs> yeah. Which, so which one did you a, think she even was, though, out of those three? Maybe the one on Austin the left? Austin said the middle. Oh. Austin said the middle. Oh, my God. Clearly, no. I know. Well, then we looked at the picture to the right. We're like, wait a minute. But she's standing next to the girl in the middle. And then we're like, no, she's just not in this she's photo. She's simply yeah. 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 Hulu was about to have a mess on their hands because like Holy they, they just fucking changed our skin color. But that was just us being idiots. That's so um, funny. Okay, so you and I have something in common. You have your own skincare line with Walmart. I have my own pizza line at Walmart. So tell us okay. about the skincare. Go off. Um, yeah, so I created Creme de la Cube like two um, year and a half ago. And then it came out, I want to say December of last year and it sold out within the first week, which is insane because I was like, mm, at first they wanted me to do a makeup line. And I was just like, no offense, but I feel like that is just so overly saturated in the like influencer realm. And what am I going to do? Come out with the eyeshadow palette. Like, I just feel like we've seen that and I just feel like it wouldn't do that well. And for me, I've struggled with acne before and my skin is like so good now. And I just wanted to come out with something that was affordable. So I know my fans are like, they're not going to be able to buy $75 worth of things at Sephora, but they can get something at Walmart and, and then it's sold out. So I'm really excited about it. Who are your fans? How would you, I, I'm sure it, it's a generalization, but if you had to like categorize, like who is your market? What is it? Um, I would say probably like 16 to 24, like very young. Um, oh, now, like skew older both ways? What? Is it guys and girls or just like mainly oh, girls? Oh, on or? Instagram, it's like mostly guys now. Probably because they- Probably because of the ass. Ass. that swimming probably thing. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's like- All the swimming. It's like 70% <laughs> guys on my Instagram now. I'm like, oh, okay. But on like YouTube and TikTok, it's like 80% women. I'm gonna look right now at your Instagram and see what we're dealing with in terms oh, of you. Oh, like, God. are you just are you just thirst, thirst trapping, trapping no, people? No, I'm. I don't think. Uh, well, um, you know, you be the judge. I'm 25. <laughs> you know, it's like I'm trying to. I'm living my life because people always think I'm like 18. Well, you're very small. Yes, yeah. I'm like a little. But that, no, no, that probably I, helps you, in th acting, though, right? Because you can oh, play for younger sure. roles. For sure, it helps so Thank much. You. I, I, oh, this just is, pulling it I wouldn't say it's super thirst trapping. I don't think trapping. it's super no, thirst trapping no. at all. In the scheme of thirst traps, this is this is like very mild. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's very thirst trappy. Um, on the headline sheet, it says you are a PETA activist, part of uh, how seriously do you take... Now, PETA is one of the groups like Anonymous that I'm a little bit scared of. And by the way, I Bree's love not scared animals. Of them. Bree's not scared <laughs> I know, of I love animals, <laughs> but I think they go, like I, I really consider myself an animal guy, but I also yeah. think they go to the extremes where it's like, whoa, what, what are we doing here? So how well, deeply are you involved with them? Disclaimer, I haven't done anything with PETA probably in the last like four years. I did my okay. last like, photo shoot campaign with them was to help um, like students stop dissecting frogs and, and just to like have that, have it be a game on an iPad and people can dissect the frogs through that way instead of like actually killing these frogs. Um, so that was something that I, I completely agree with and because I just feel like that's like, uh. I, think I mean, I never went sense. to, I never went to real school anyway. So it's not like I had that opportunity, but. I think the, we dissected rats. Ugh. Oh, we, we I did, did octopus, uh, I think. Octopus. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did octopus. What? I did yeah. octopus. That's which, crazy. by the way, Pe if you've ever there's some octopus movie which will change your whole like octopuses are sneaky like smart. Oh wow. yeah, sneaky you, smart my, in like what? My sense? teacher's octopus or something like. Oh or? my god, it's, it gets a little weird. Like a human develops basically a crush on an octopus, but okay. it's uh, it's it, it will change. It'll change how you think Is about that like, like the Frank B movie? Calamari. I feel like that's like more like. Isn't the bee movie like the girl falls in love with the bee and like 
Yeah. Has sex with a bee or something. Mm-hmm. But that's not a real movie, is it? No, it's, it's an a cartoon. Animation. Oh, it's animation. Still yeah. weird. Still yeah. weird. Still concept. No, no, mm. but this is like, the, this is the guy's like, he's in the water. Oh, this is like, like this is like, like real day. life. Yeah. Documentary, oh. it's real. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's strange. No, it's real. I dissected yeah. a human in college, though. How crazy is that's that? That's nasty. You nasty? What? what? Yeah, Whoa. a human cadaver in college instead of animals, humans. But I mean, people have a cannibal. We do have, what? We do have, we do have, Things called doctors, right? I'd rather them work on a dead dead person before. That's true, like, I me. guess. Yeah. yeah. Is it like an yeah. already dead person, or does someone have to volunteer themselves for your project? Yeah. No. They they were. Was that that what what? Yeah. No. Josh, no. What? We just kill people. We killed people at my school, and uh, then we that may be the yeah. dumbest no, question sure. in the history of BFF. <laughs> we gotta cut that. Does Bree operate on live people or dead people? <laughs> yeah. <he's dead. laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe there's like a PETA for humans out there, like running around being like, "Hey, we gotta stop this." Or, yeah. Or Bree just points like, "Kill that person." Yeah. Like, I'm on the table, it's like point and go. <laughs> <laughs> just a um, thumbs down, of, like in like it's the just old all of edition. Dave's enemies. In my <laughs> yeah. I, I'd be down with that. Uh, so, Tila, you also were a member of Clubhouse, which was started. Oh God! When, oh God! Oh, you know, Ooh, how long? Whoa. Shaking Give your head. You. This you don't seem Ooh. like you'd be one of these people, by the way. Too sarcastic <laughs> in my mind, but. Um, <laughs> This star went Daisy, Daisy Keach had the falling out with Thomas Petro. Uh, so you were an early house member. What was your experiences from that? Yeah, living in Clubhouse, crazy. So it was my first How time How long living. were you in there for? I was in there for about eight months. Um, okay. Long enough, to, let me tell you. Um, so I never like lived, a, lived on my own before. So this was kind of like my college experience since I never went to college. Okay, fair, fair, fair. And let me tell you, look, I loved all the girls I lived with because I lived in Charlie Jordan's room once Charlie Jordan moved out. I thought she was going to live with me. And then as soon as I got in the house, she was like, girl, I'm leaving. You should get out, too. And I was like, wait, what? Because I love Charlie to pieces. That is my girl. Like, Charlie is my girl. I'm literally going to see her tonight um, at an event. But anyways, uh, yeah, living there was insane. And I never realized how, how clean I am until I lived in that house. Like, I... It was like living in a frat house. It was like living in a pretty flat frat house. So that's it, why just, you hated it? Because it was gross? Or the people, yeah. was there a lot of drama? Well, the management was just like shady. I'm sure you guys saw the whole thing with the mirror that everybody that came out, the whole thing, shady. And so, yeah. But I mean, I loved all my roommates, like still friends with Tessa, Carrington, all the girls that I lived with. Amazing women. And I see them all the time out. But just living in that environment was just so insane. I, I really did feel like, I was a sorority girl. Like we just had parties every single night. I did not sleep. I would go to bed at 5 a.m., wake up at 8 a.m., do it all over again every single day. I don't even know how I did it, but I did it, and I'm glad I got it out of my system. And now I live alone in Beverly Hills, and it's great. <laughs> did it help your career? I mean, I would say so. Uh, not that collabing with anybody helped me, because honestly, my TikTok kind of blew up just from like me being in a bikini alone. But um, I think I did learn a lot, and my TikTok did blow up from me being in the house, I would say, but not from like such collaborating a, with anybody specifically. Such a sneaky, cocky statement. My no, TikTok it's true. Just such a humble brag, right? No, no, not even to sound like my, my, cocky. My, I never my, my like TikTok collabed just with anyone. I just threw on a bikini and my TikTok blew up. Uh, just no. another day. Just, an, just one ass <laughs> shot and I blew up. Yeah. yeah. This ass so powerful, bro. <laughs> yeah, I get what you're yeah, saying, though. Like, I get what you're saying. Yeah, because I feel um, like when, when you think of content houses, you think of everybody collaborating with each other, doing one, like, I never really did that girl like in Clubhouse. That's what I'm saying. Yep. Like Hype uh, House and yeah, I guess, House, Sway, Sway Boys, y'all yeah. were all like, yeah. yeah. So you've had some beefs with Tana, but you're friends with her, right? Not actual beef. I I think she was just doing that for clout. She loves me. She knows I love. She her. does everything for clout. She's a clout. Yeah, monster. I was when those videos came out. I was genuinely so confused. Like I was like side texting her. Like, wait, are you genuinely upset? Because like. I, I'm the type of person, if anybody has an issue with me, I'm, I'm trying to clear it out like ASAP Rocky. And it was I, from I making like... out with Bella Thorne. Exactly, right? mm -hmm. yes. Which I didn't even and know they were actually a couple. I thought that was a clout farm. I didn't think that they actually did. Everything she How does How am I supposed to know if they that actually That is a hard dated. thing with Tana. It is yeah. hard to tell what's real and what's not. Like, yeah. you know? like, I can't keep up. Why were you making out with Bella Thorne? Oh, we just, we just were in a silly, goofy mood. We were like, why not? We had never kissed before. We've known each other since we were like 13. And we were just like, why not? And so we did. Bella Thorne, like, I never consider her, like, 
social media. That's not how I know her. But she weaves in and out of these stories yeah. a yeah. decent amount. Yeah, like, she what definitely is, does. I feel like it stemmed from Tana when she started it dating definitely, Tana. Exactly. Yeah. Because then she was more like in the social media scene, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And she really yeah, fed what into she, it. Would, can we get her as a guest? She'd be a good guest. Or is she like going to say no to us? I don't know. I think we could I get feel her like, I feel like Bella would be down. She's so Are you she's friends so with her? Earth. Yeah, I love Bella. She's so sweet. Can you text she's her? She's so genuine. Like, we're talking text her about, and be like, you should text go her. We're like, <laughs> yeah, we're talking about you I right mean, like, now. I, the last time I BFFs. texted her was probably like a year ago. Like we keep in touch like on like Instagram. But I could slide can in one day. Yeah, can I see the uh, video of Tana duetting Tila's TikTok of Tel... This, oh, this God. sentence so is scared. a absolute <laughs> tongue twister. Tana duetting Tila's TikTok of Tila kissing Bella. Jeez. Fun fact, actually, really, really She looks like she I've wants to beat me up. Bella. I'm so I've scared. I've literally never kissed Bella before. Until now. Yeah. <laughs> was that, that was the kiss? That's not yeah. a kiss. I know, we didn't even make out. It's nothing that's, crazy. This is smooch. That, that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's little, PG. Little that was like an, a, like an acting kiss. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. two actors. Yeah. Two actresses the, kissing, that's all it was. Got it, the craft, that was just the craft. Coinbase is a trust and easy use platform where you can buy and sell crypto. I've been in and out of crypto, different companies, everything, Coinbase by far the easiest, uh, most reliable for me. If you've been looking to level up your financial portfolio, it's always good to diversify. Why not think about cryptocurrency based on the world's leading investors? Coinbase, which you can trade, by the way, on New York Stock Exchange, keeps your portfolio safe and secure while adding crypto into your mix. Coinbase, offer, Coinbase offers a trust and easy-use platform to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. The user experience is top of the line, includes multiple resources to keep the user up to date on the crypto world. They support the most popular digital currencies on the market, make them accessible to everybody. That's huge. Um, a lot of times things take off. Like, why didn't I buy it? Well, Coinbase has all the new and upcoming coins. Um, they offer portfolio management and protection, leading resources in a mobile app so you can trade securely and monitor your crypto all in one place. For a limited time, new users can get $10 in free Bitcoin when you sign up today at coinbase.com slash Dave. Sign up at Coinbase base.com slash Dave for $10 in free Bitcoin. This offer is for a limited time only, so be sure to sign up today. That's coinbase.com slash Dave. Um, <laughs> all right, we got a game for you. Love it or hate it. Oh. Yeah, so basically, so how you are kind of hated on TikTok for being like super cringy, the swim videos, whatever, we're going to yeah. say if these people are warrantedly hated like they should be hated on or they're just hated for no reason got it okay i like this oh this is fun i'm ready for this yeah so these will be people that get a bunch of hate and we say they deserve it or not okay why do i feel like trisha paytas is going to be on this list i'm sure she is definitely, that's definitely. <laughs> i feel she like she's be. like the definition of this list yeah. mm -hmm. um <laughs> What's the question? Whether they the the hate is warranted, basically. Yeah. So yeah. like, so Tila oh, makes her totally. swim videos, and then people just completely shit on her life. It's like I don't think yeah, that's yeah, really yeah. warranted. But Tana, yeah. maybe she does some fucked up shit. Oh yeah, definitely. Shit. She. So yeah. I vote yes. Um, yes. I'm gonna vote yes. Yeah. I want a disclaimer, Tana. I love you, but I'm gonna vote yes just because you're late to everything. Yeah. yeah. She, no. By the way, I think she knows it though, right? This is like her that's 100%. Her thing. Yeah. That's her thing. 100%. She says so, stuff so that people talk about her. So she knows. Yeah. yeah. I mean, her podcast is yep. called Canceled. She's well aware. Yeah. 100%. Jake Paul. Warranted. Yeah. Warranted. Warranted. Uh, 100%. I feel like, it, yes, back in the day, I don't know so much now. I feel like uh, he's I, just. I think more now. I feel really? like that's his business. Yeah. Like, as a fighter, boxer, which is primarily what he is, you got to be in the news. You got to shake things up. You got to want people to pay attention. He's one one of the best to ever do it. But much like Tana, he's very calculated and aware. So he's yeah. it's warranted, but it's on purpose. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. I don't know. I'm gonna go with no for him right now. I feel like okay, old Jake Paul like two years ago, absolutely. But like now, I'm gonna say no. Okay, fair. That's that's nuts, but okay. <laughs> oh god oh my gosh uh, i don't know uh, with him I i'm gonna be honest i love kanye's music so much i just love kanye everything he does i think he's warranted he, it's warranted i think but i think he's fucking i love him still i love him so much only reason why i'm gonna say yes is because of all his instagram posts and how insane they someone needs to just like with lock the pete him out of his stuff. account sometime yeah. yeah with the pete stuff that's just a little too much but that's the only reason why I'm saying that. Other than that, I love he, Kanye. 
He's on my hate list. I have oh, a, you hate a list him? of like 60 people I hate. Most oh, of them wow. are personal. He's like the only one, no connection. <laughs> it's totally warranted. And some of the shit that he does, he gets because he's an eccentric genius. So obviously he is, but he gets mm. a pass on doing some. The shit him and Kim Kardashian pulled on Taylor Swift was if someone did that to me, like, I don't know what I do. And I'm referring to the fact the lyric that he put in the song of like, uh, I'm going to fuck. I'll probably fuck like Taylor Swift. And he's like, mm -hmm. no, I talked to her and she gave permission and they cut up a conversation mm -hmm. and made it, even though Taylor was like, I never said that. Mm -hmm. They're like, you're a liar. They cut up a, a video call. The full call came out later and they totally cut it up and made her look like she was crazy and she was telling the truth the whole time. That's insane behavior and like <laughs> fucking yeah, devious that's like kind shit. Of evil. Evil. Yeah, that sounds illegal. Yeah. It sounds very illegal. I think it was but... very illegal. <laughs> It um, was, and yeah. it happened, and everyone's just like, whatever. But uh, so I hate him. Warranted. Yeah. Warranted, yeah. Warranted. <laughs> Kim oh. Kardashian. I mean, Go off, if you're going to say Kanye's warranted, I think she's warranted too. Yeah, I don't think she really does anything besides the Taylor so. thing. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think yeah, she does. And much. that was so long ago. I'm going to go with no. I like that dress too. It's a pretty dress. <laughs> I don't know. It is a pretty dress. I, this is like a. I'd say warranted, but I mean, anybody who is as huge as she is is going to get hit yeah. in the public eye and it throws just comes, it all out it comes there. With the territory, yeah. Yeah, because she says things that maybe like, oh, be successful, get up and work harder. Like that can come across as really arrogantly, but it's like you're on camera 24 fucking seven. Mm -hmm. So it's warranted, yeah. but I don't know that anybody who's as open and public and just everywhere is not going to get hate. So, yeah. I think it's warranted. I don't not like her. I just think it's warranted. Yeah, same. Yeah, same. she says some stupid shit. But who doesn't? Yeah, Jacob's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's definitely a no. I think I think people are just hating on him just because. Like, I low key feel bad for though. him now. He can't like. Like, outgrow. what does he even do now? Like, he's fine. Leave him alone. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I agree boy. with that. Yeah, Josh is yeah. a big fan. What? So Josh is a big fan of Jacob. I I I'm Team <laughs> Satoris. I got his merch. I'm Team Satoris. <laughs> Yeah, I literally have his merch. Yeah. I, I don't want him to. Isn't you know, he like a grown man of. now? I think yeah, he's, he's like, like forty. <laughs> no, I don't know if he's forty. I think he's just like my age. I you yeah. count, count that as grown man. But like, I swear, like people think he's like fourteen and he's like twenty or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, no. I think that's why he still gets hate. Like he he talked about smoking weed and people were like, "Shut up, you stoner!" Like making fun of him. It's like he's just yeah, a kid. I know. Leave Jacob so alone. Bad. Yeah, I feel bad for him. I love how Britney. he looks all punk, punk rock in this photo right now. <laughs> yeah, it's hard when you're a kid star. Oh, Addison Rae, right. it's unwarranted, unwarranted yeah. completely. That she girl's doesn't do sweetest. anything. She just exists. And she, just gets, she just exists and she's famous and people hate on her because she's famous, but she's amazing. I loved Addison. We stand Addison Rae right in this house. I'm a big Addison stan. Yeah. Me too. I love her. Get her on the pod. Uh, sure. Definitely warranted. Definitely warranted. Yeah. I, I personally love Trisha because she's always been super sweet to me. But I mean, girl, all the videos she posts on Insta, I mean, on YouTube, come on. Yeah, she's fucking clinically warranted. insane. Very warranted. She, like, very warranted. I warranted. like her. But I love her. She I love her. Yeah. She's she hates me. I she loves think she, she loves me. She loves me. She loves me. She put out a whole tweet she, about me. I love her. I, and I she's think she hates you, I'm Brie. so happy for her. Yeah, she hates me, hates you, Dave, loves Josh. She, I think she likes me too. I think it kind of makes sense. I think kind yeah, of she sense. probably wants to like fuck or something. Yeah, no, she is married. Yeah, dude, come on. Well, why? Well, well there's no excuse to like Josh <laughs> she and just not loves like Josh me and Bree. No, you, know? you would think but she would we like were... you, Dave, because she's into older guys. That is very exactly. True. Yeah, she's not a Dave fan. <sighs> I mean, we we're all saying the same exact things, and she came out of it with hating me and Bree and liking Josh. Yeah, you know, some, Makes sometimes no sense. you win, sometimes you lose. Agreed. All right. <laughs> She's entertaining like though. Yeah, I like to watch her. Oh, Charlie's definitely a no. Oh my god, that girl gets yeah, so much hate. She's just like, isn't she like seventeen? Like, let the agreed. girl live. She just, yeah. she doesn't very do similar. anything. Yo, I did yeah. see this one video though recently. So fucking funny, and it's like of all the hype house kids, and they were at the beach or something, and they're all like doing like the renegade, but it looks like they're like talking to each other through their dance because no like no way. one's filming it, and they're just on the beach all like dancing together gotta find that video it's like oh, the best that, video what? i need to see that that sounds hilarious anyways not warranted though no not warranted not, war we love not warranted not warranted at all pure jealousy yeah same with addison keemstar yeah. uh, warranted warranted i mean yeah, he warranted. has a drama podcast so he's gonna get 100 yeah yeah 100 yeah. yeah definitely warranted 
James what? Corden. Wait, he, he gets, gets hate? hate? Yeah, I didn't know people, he really got a lot of hate. Like, he, people hate people hate him. James Gordon. Like, uh, where I think, have I been? I thought people loved him. Yeah, me too. Now, I'm going to go with not warranted. He seems like a I little think, teddy bear. Yeah, I would go not warranted. I would go, again, the level of, like, I don't think he's at the peak of his powers, but when he was doing, like, those car videos, they got so, so big. Carpool karaoke. And you just get so pop. Yeah, you get so big, oh, just people yeah, start hating you. Oh, yeah, carpool karaoke. Yeah, I love, yep. I love those videos when I was Yeah, those I were, were iconic. Yeah. But then when you it started coming out how they were doing them and it's like they weren't even like driving right they were in like fake cars on the cars back of almost. a tow truck yeah yeah yeah, yeah well yeah, I mean yeah. that makes sense I mean it's probably like safe. a safety thing eh? yeah. like yeah. I don't want to kill people yeah. but it kind of takes away from it. it's like who is the survival guy but who it's like, like whoa welcome to show it's business. like yeah. it's like television it's like with Brian dissecting humans it takes away from it if you don't pick a live specimen <laughs> yeah exactly like, true yeah. you know Facts. exactly uh-huh. oh so not warranted. Um, warranted. I I'm gonna warranted. go with. I'm no. I think I've right. Heard a lot of bad stories. I don't know about this one. Yeah, there's a lot of horrific stories, and it's it's. I guess it's hard when it's, it's just stories though to like really know. know what happened. Right? I'm like, what's, that's what's always the truth? yeah. Yeah, there's horrific. Know. But the weird thing about her, the yeah, but the weird thing about her is her public persona versus like what the stories are so like. They're so opposite. different. So opposite. Yeah. It's like scary. Yeah, it almost makes me not like her because, like, I, I don't know. It's like it, her it, whole, like, mantra was a, a cover-up for how fraud, evil she was. Fraud, yeah. right. Yeah. Like, you'd almost, somebody, like, if people say, hey, Dave's, like, a jerk, it's like, oh, tell me something I don't know. Yeah, you're a because, jerk like, online. That's, but, correct. So if, but when someone's so over-the-top nice and dance to the couch and do all this shit and then you hear they're an asshole, it's like, oh, fraud. There's nothing. I'd rather someone be a jerk and own it than like yeah. a fraud. Yeah. 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 We don't like the fakes. Yeah. Correct. So yeah. it seems warranted, but who knows? You don't know the real yeah. truth. Who knows? Yeah, that's what who I was going to say. The world may never know about Ellen. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Maybe get that's her it? on the pod. Get her to speak her yeah. truth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That That's our entire list. So that's everything we have. I don't know what the plan for the show is. What is the plan for the show, Austin? Because we haven't done subjects. Are we, are we done with? Okay. Okay. So Tila, I, you were great. I love having you, you come on. Um, Thanks. I'm yeah. so, I wanted to play the fuck Mary Kill game. You guys didn't play that with me. Well, okay. So wow. your 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 personality on TikTok and online, I feel, is a lot different than what it is in real life. And we didn't know if you'd be into the fuck Mary Kill. Oh no! She literally I came love, through my door like I want to play game. fuck Mary Kill. Yeah. I thought can it was we? A, do you want to pull up we, a, do, a past let, one? Let's play? have a crack staff. What? It all has to. Do you, who's your ex boyfriend? Do you have one? Do you have a boyfriend? What's going on? Oh, I do not have a boyfriend. No, no, no. Do you have an ex boyfriend? Yeah, but like, we don't know them. No. Not, they're they not like, known? They're I not mean, known, that's like what we generally media-wise? do. No. We try no. to find. We try to find people like that you've been connected with, put it together. I mean, I don't know. I, I, Dev is the one that would normally come up with like who the people should be related to, but we thought this game was much more related to her than a. We could just like grab like a random one. We don't have like. Yeah. Like, or or is there them. anyone in LA that you want to fuck? <laughs> Good question. Just want to air it out. Yeah. Why not? Right. No, just make it <laughs> random. I don't know. Yeah. Why don't we grab like a? Do we have old games loaded up by any chance? Like an old like yeah. last. But those are all. Or? Those are gonna be like. Yeah, we're always. Those are like curated towards the guests. But they're like social media kids, at least. Yeah. How do you meet? How do you meet guys, Tila? I mean, just like parties and stuff. Like that's how Josh and I. Well, how did Josh and I? When did we meet? Yeah, we met at a party. Yeah, Bryce's party, I think. Right. Yeah. Something. Like All right, that. here we go. We're going <laughs> old. This is good. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. So we have Vinny Hacker, Bryce Hall, Josh Richards. I'm going to kill. I already know the answer. Kill Vinny. Um, stunning. Uh, I don't want to marry you. Oh, you want to marry, marry Bryce? Bryce Hall? No, but that Yikes. would be insane. Okay, I gotta switch it. You got. Uh, I'm gonna this. kill Vinny. Fuck Bryce and marry Josh. I did even not even after Josh, Vinny. like having a what new girl every week, up? you want to marry him? I know. See, that's the problem. But I already did. Never mind. We're moving right along. Okay. You fucked Vinny's who? ever been killed. <laughs> you already fucked who? Bryce or Vinny? Or or Josh? Do you fuck them all already? No. <laughs> no. Nah. Just no. kidding. Just kidding. But no, Josh, no, no, Josh no. I is haven't giving even a, kissed. a look. 
Josh and I, we've done some things in the past. <laughs> Head down. So you've already fucked Josh. <laughs> Anyways, me and Taylor go way back. We've known each other for a while. You know, we met like what, like a year and a half ago or we something? Met two years, two years ago. ago. That was when yeah. I lived a couple house. Okay. You see yeah. what he's doing right there? Yeah. By the way, he's clouding the timeline. Yeah. He's just like so. Maybe nobody it was three years ago. I don't it was know. Not been, three, been four. It was not three years ago. Could have five. No. Ah, fuck. Okay. No, Who you knows? were definitely legal. Wait, so what is this? Because your assistant texted me when I told the teal was coming over. She said, oh, that should be fun for Josh. And I was like, that's a oh weird text. Who said that? Oh Josh's assistant. Uh, how did me uh, and uh, Bree not get like... Yeah, I'm actually shocked that you guys didn't pick up that up. But I mean, that was so long ago. No idea. How how would we ever pick it up? You mean by the way you guys I mean, are acting I don't now? even think the universe knew that we even knew each other. Like that's nah, how like low key yeah, everything think, was. Yeah. Like I don't we never we don't even follow each other. Josh doesn't even follow me on anything. We don't even follow each other on TikTok. Damn. I'm sorry. Also, <laughs> I need to call He's Josh out. Though. I need to call Josh out. Call him oh, out. No, Josh we out. Don't. No, when we, we don't. were in Vegas at after party, he was like right next to me, didn't say a word to me, ignored me. Gosh. After yeah, the shady. fact. You mean after the fact? Oh, we hooked up like two years ago. But like And then still, when was the like Vegas cordial. party? The after party when was, event, like the NFT thing. It was like a couple he was of like, weeks ago. He was like a little bit beside me. Didn't say a word. I was Maybe like, I just didn't shot. even see you. No, I saw you. You definitely saw Thanks. me. Thanks. Oh. Josh, did you see her? Boy. I, I don't remember, man. That place, oh. it was crazy. Yeah, he was too busy. With After party was. His, Josh his was on one. Uh, it's, I, I was. Brianna knows. Yeah. I was, I was on playing mom. He was oh, on, he was you on were bender. at this thing? Yeah. 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 Brianna was there too. Yeah, yeah. we all were there. Mm -hmm. So why didn't you, Tila, go up and be like, hello? Oh, I was like, ew, if he's not going to say hi to me, you're not going to say hi to him. Facts. I. Now she's calling him out on the pod no. for everyone. I wanted to call it out in the beginning of this podcast, but you know, now we'll do it. She, I didn't I know like she it. was. I don't know <laughs> if she was beside me. <laughs> mm -hmm. this but we is, only hooked up one time. It wasn't like this a continuous the... thing. So. This is when Josh was okay. with Lauren, so maybe he he was just trying to keep his girl happy. <sighs> maybe, but I didn't see Lauren. He looked. He looked. He was with the boys. You were like raging. Wait, wait, Did you want to hook like, up? Were you yeah, like, is that why you were praying me? Like, oh, is that why you were praying me? You were kind of no. like, I'd be like, oh, I hope he comes over. Oh, so definitely so. not, oh, Josh. Come on. No, come on. no, no, no. She no, was, no. she was. No, I just like, you know, like we're friends. Like Bryce. Bryce is always so nice to me. I'm, I've never done anything with Bryce. I've never even kissed Bryce. And he's like, that's he probably why he's nice to you. And then it's like, I hooked up with this there guy two years ago and just like, Okay, whatever. Where'd you guys hook? Well, I won't go into details. I can tell there's uh, a cloud room, of mystery. Actually, I think it was. Oh, oh wow. There she you just go. aired that out. Noah, Noah Baxter? <laughs> yep. Yeah, That's yeah. crazy. Noah that Baxter. Nuts. Tila, you have like a fucking Josh open invite. Care. Josh is like, open get out of here. <laughs> yeah, Anytime I'm like, yo, did we wrap up this podcast? episode already? Did we any, already wrap any, up this episode? <laughs> anything you want to say, do like you are welcome on here 24 7. Like, just keep throwing things out. I'm down. This is the, you're the fucking, most open we've ever had. I'm sweating, bro. I'm heating up quicker than a junkie spoon over here, man. Like, this shit is this is getting a little embarrassing. <laughs> Dave, right, I literally so. love this podcast so much. Like, you guys are just the realest podcast I feel like out there. Yeah, yeah we may true. have to add you as like a permanent member the way this <laughs> yeah. is going. Here. You're just Fuck. spilling this yes. shit. Because like, a lot of times we won't get like, the Josh tree is just like, nope, nope. Like, I didn't even know. And usually I ask. I, I didn't get any. I didn't even know you guys knew each other. Me I either. usually start. No, you guys yeah. know each other. I didn't even ask it. Yeah. So, well, now why you would know. I answer a question you didn't ask, you know? I guess. But it's like, how did we get you on the... How did you get on the podcast? Did we ask you or is the new show coming out? So it's like you're doing a tour? Um, they asked me, you guys asked me, but it was like in the same time that I'm doing my press tour for Crush. So it was like perfect. Because All then right. my publicist was like, we want to get you on BFFs. And I was like, wait, um, that's already scheduled. So it was great. Perfect timing. So tell us Ooh. more. Tell us Anything, everything. That, I, like, I don't even know the question to ask, but just like dirt. If you have Ooh. dirt. I want to eat it. Are there any other like people in that realm that you've like hooked up with that are kind of shitty and don't talk to you after? Uh, okay, whoa, oh. Brianna, don't be like loop me in and just like kind of. Oh shitty. no, I, love you, Josh. I, Josh, Josh, my Fuck man, you, you she was standing Fuck a foot away from you. 
and yeah, you didn't Josh, even say hello. I gotta I be honest, Josh has a very bad like track record with girls. His, his form of communication is Snapchat. Yes, we, know, know, this. we but, know this. But honestly, yeah. it's, it seems to work for him because Thank girls you. are into it. Thank you. Apparently, it's not that bad of a track record. The hard I'm to get or just it. he's good looking? I don't know. No, I don't. Genuinely, I do not hook up with social media people. Like when we hooked up, I was so shook because I was like, I she don't was like shook, all right. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like don't oh, hook up God. with social media people. Like I like stay away from that. Like the guys that I tend to really like, like don't have a following and like are very, very, very low key and de- never post on Instagram. Like that's what I'm into. I mean, so it, when it's we very up, difficult to I was like, just believe like, that, but no, it's true. It's genuinely true. I guess like, I, I guess you're telling the truth about everything. So yeah. no, it's yeah. it's true. I, I don't tend to gravitate to like the TikTok, like fuck boys. But yeah, I don't know. We were just hanging out, this and one, one thing led to another. In. See, but- I'm just an in person person. You know what I mean? Like I'm someone that really <laughs> capitalizes on being in the moment with, oh, yeah. with the person. Because then yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. that's where my game comes oh, to be. Yeah, when it's yeah, like yeah. over online or like Snapchat or texting, I suck at that shit. I'm never gonna well, be. You were in person that. and you didn't talk to her. I, I, well, by the way, can they yeah. hear you? Because you don't come through my headphones. Yeah, we I, can, also, I can hear him. No, and I he hear just keeps him. interjecting at the at the strangest times, Austin. And I'm also gonna say F minus job again. Every once in a while, the producer being like, "Oh, somebody said this should be interesting between you two. Yeah. Nobody said that to me and Brianna. We had no fuck. If we would have, we would have opened changed, with that. Yeah, that probably would have changed my line of questioning. I, I thought that text meant that she was so disliked that Josh was going to get hate for her coming over. It was such a weird text. That was, that's what I assumed it was. Hmm. I didn't think it had anything to do with history. Oh no. Well, well, well I'm glad I figured it but out. But how does the assistant know that? Josh must be spewing Josh? his little mess. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, no. Maybe Wait, she was minute. talking Tila, about what Austin said. no offense. You can't really be like, how's she know that? You just said it to the world. That's true. That's yeah, true. you that's realize true. a million yeah, plus yeah, yeah. people that's now true. know, How's right? that one like, person know that when you oh, no. just said it to like me? Yeah. Now everybody knows. <laughs> the whole world knows. No. Not my assistant. Yeah. But no. yeah, I, I, don't, I don't tend to get with any like social media people. The only person that like I've had a thing with in the past was Logan Paul. And that was like before... Before, like that was like 2016. Like there's videos of me and Logan. We used to like collab all the time. We were talking for a little bit, but that was that. That's like, yeah, that's pretty much it. You and you and Logan. That's it. Well, yeah. I'm glad we played that game and we had a home run with like the right off the bat. Yeah. I know. I should have. I should have been pushing at the fuck Mary Kill game. I don't know why I, know. I did that. <laughs> that's on you, Josh. Yeah. Up there. I was like, oh, yeah, why don't we did. grab an old game? Let's just <laughs> grab an old one. You got yeah, kind of walked and I'm right so into dumb that trap. When she's like, I already did. I'm like, oh, you fuck Bryce or Vinny? Like, me nice. too. It went like, straight no. over my head. Oh, yeah. And then I see yeah. Josh put his head down. I'm like, oh fuck. Yeah, it was oh, just that. God. Oh God. Yeah. All right, okay. so former former couple, Tila and former Josh, lovers, thank you. Yeah, for, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. that's, no. well, yes. I mean, yeah. former lovers, yes. Yeah, former We're lovers. We're current lovers, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. yeah. News to me, guys, news to me. You're Josh's new girl and, of the week. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. I guess there so. I guess Keeping it rolling. Uh-huh. I guess I got to find right. some TikToks. Well, after like this. I said, you legit have an open <laughs> invite. Whenever you want to come back on here, that was, that was great. Yeah, thanks for airing you it all out. Were, oh yeah, I, I'll air it out for you guys. Only for you that's guys what? though. Like I don't sorry, do this Josh. in other interviews, but you know. I don't think that's bad. To, that's like street cred. If you have, for a guy, if you sleep with a very pretty girl, that's street cred. Oh, Taylor like is very it, pretty. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So You're welcome. Yeah, no, that's yeah. Congrats, that's actually, street Josh. Cred. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. You could congrats. say maybe congrats to Tila. Oh. Let's not, go, let's not go that nah, far. Okay. Congrats, okay. Josh. Let's not go that far. Never mind. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tila. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Game time. Exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports and BFF. The only ticket partner company Barstool Sports uses to buy tickets. I'm here in Toronto for the week. I'm going to buy tickets for the Bruins Toronto uh, Maple Leafs games on Game Time on Friday. It's created by fans for fans. Game Time is new ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals and tickets to sports, concerts, and shows. They guarantee the lowest price. They crack the code on how to score last minute deals on last minute tickets. It's possible with Game Time app, the biggest last minute price drop can be found on the seats you thought you could never buy. If you've been to a game, once it starts, ticket prices drop, You, but you, know, you want to be in for the beginning, do it online. Don't get screwed by fake tickets either, which happens all the time. Um, that will not happen with GameTime app. 
So the purchase process takes just two taps in 10 seconds. Once you buy your tickets, they're delivered directly to your phone. No printer needed. The app also allows you to easily share tickets with friends via text so you can get games seamlessly. Skip the hassle. Enjoy the moment. Like I said, Leafs Bruins Friday. I'm looking at going to the Raptors Sixers. Game six is 3-2 in that series here in Toronto. I'm going to use Game Time app. Download the Game Time app. Go to the account tab to create a login. Redeem code BFF for 20 bucks off your first purchase. Terms apply. So if you want to go a concerts, sporting events, anything, you name it, sign up for this app. They're going to give you 20 bucks to tickets you want, and they have the best deals. Download Game Time. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Did you just have sex? Me? Oh. <laughs> no. Well, anybody who feels free to answer can answer. <laughs> but we had a guest on prior to you joining that we found out at the very end that Josh had had uh, sexual relations with. And then he disappeared for 15 minutes and came back with a totally different outfit. Oh. Okay. So? First of all, I just took a hoodie off. This is the same outfit, hoodie off, hat on. And then secondly, it just took me a little bit to, you know, usher, usher her out the door and shit. She wanted to film some TikToks, take a couple pictures. I'm out of breath. <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Hard pictures. So that's a, that's a no on the record. No sex. Yeah, no sex. Yeah. Not, not okay. at that moment. It did seem odd that you came back with a totally different look. Yeah. To be determined. Okay. Anyways. <laughs> we'll ask her. She'll tell the truth. Yeah. Um, continuing along, welcome Nikki Glazer at Barstool Office with Bree right there. And yep. um, yes. I, I heard you, Nikki, be like, sorry, what's your name, Bree? So this is the first time you guys have met. Do you know me or Josh, Nikki? Uh, well, I know you because I read the internet sometimes and then i know no i know you from reddit i've seen a lot of your videos and just you're funny and um i've always been interested in oh all right getting Thank to talk you. with you like yeah i mean i i, I, think, I obviously I know think you that's good yeah let's talk f boy island so you're the host producer of hbo's f boy island three women moved to a tropical island joined by 24 men half are self-proclaimed nice guys other half are self-proclaimed fuck boys mm -hmm. they're probably all fuck boys if they're on the show if we're being <laughs> honest yeah, yeah i watched um, a little bit of it <laughs> did you like it Bree? yeah i liked it the guys are a lot of them are insufferable yeah. and i don't get how you because you do a very because you're a comic so yeah. i'm sure you want to shit on them but you don't too much is that hard not to like make fun of them it is sometimes but honestly like i feel they're just so dumb and they like are just trying their best and a lot of them they are believe just they're nice guys yeah and i i i i know how much they're going to be trashed once the show comes mm -hmm. out by the general public mm -hmm. and how and i know that the way they act comes from such like just they don't like themselves mm -hmm. it has to be that so i actually give them a little bit of credit because i think that although we shit on reality stars like from our couches we would never oh god no. be, do that because it's you will see a side of yourself on a reality show even if you're trying like very aware of the cameras you eventually tire out and get tired and get vulnerable and be you behave like your real self and it's embarrassing <laughs> so i do have a little bit of you know um yeah, you play, admiration like, for a them. nice mom on there i feel i do like, i, I give, I them, give them a little speech beforehand which is like you're gonna get trashed but no one who trashes you from twitter would ever uh, subject themselves to this kind of scrutiny and no. actually people seeing the, these true sides of themselves when they're drunk, when they're angry, when they're tired, when they're vulnerable. So you guys are brave in a, in a weird way, mm -hmm. but I, I have respect for you. Yeah. And I did. The show is All really right, entertaining. We, <laughs> yeah, it is. Thank yeah, you. I've heard a lot about it. Um, before we get into the headlines, which Nikki, we can just go through and just get feedback, talk about them. Is there... I don't even know with somebody like you. You have 9,000 things on this sheet that you're doing. Oh is gosh, there anything crazy. in particular that you're promoting? Yes. I have a um, reality show called Welcome Home, Nikki Glazer, question mark, that's coming out on E! And we're taking the place of the Kardashian spot on Sunday nights. Oh, that uh, that, that should be an easy <laughs> right? easy show to, to like fulfill. Yeah. No, yeah, no, big, avoid. no, no, no big shoes to stick. Right? No pressure. No pressure. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely different. I'm not even trying to do what they do. But yeah, I just pitched the show around. E! bought it. It just so happened like the Kardashian left when this show came about I didn't even ask for this kind of like pressure but it's just me moving back home to St. Louis kind of giving up my Hollywood lifestyle and just going you know let me see what it's like to be normal I, I ended up moving back there during the pandemic to live with my parents because I had nowhere else to go I kind of had like a breakdown of sorts I got I worked on myself and then I came out of it being like oh, I'm kind of okay with myself like I don't need to like 
pretend anymore. Is like it, I'm happy with who I am. Let's bring cameras in and like show people what how fucked up I am, and mm-hmm. I don't care. Like, well, you just said how scary it is to be vulnerable on reality yes. TV. So now, are you? Were you yeah. scared when you did it? No, because I don't. I. I used to be so ashamed of everything about myself. Mm-hmm. My messy room, my like face, my aging, my body. Like I right now I'm like really done up, but like I look disgusting on the show a lot of times. Mm-hmm. I purposely didn't do my makeup if I wasn't naturally already going to do it for mm-hmm. a thing that I was doing on the show. I didn't clean my room, I didn't get new clothes. Like I really wanted to put myself out there as like a test to be like I'm okay with myself and I'm still likable and it's okay. I'm not like a bad person because I'm like aging or I look tired or my room is messy. So I think it was, I was only able to do it because I like myself. Otherwise, I would never do this. No, never. I would, if I was, I'm insecure, but for different reasons that anything anyone can say about me on this, I think I'm, I'll, I'll, I won't have to kill myself if like they say the worst thing imaginable. And I think when the, does it air? When's yeah. the first episode? Um, May first. Fir- May first. Uh, May first. So right yeah, around the corner. So this Sunday. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. Okay. Thank you. It's really good. It's funny, right. dude. It's good. I mean, if you're not going to say it's funny and it's good, we got problems, right? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I mean, there are sometimes gotta, I do gotta, things and it isn't funny. And I wouldn't say it like really? I. Really? Yeah. Sometimes you make stuff and it gets in the hands of the editors or you're just having a bad night when you mm-hmm. shot it. And you're like, that's not my best. This like. Fair. You turned over all this footage and you go, I don't know what they're going to make with this. And then I watched the first episode and I was like, oh my God, this is fucking great. Like, I can't wait to watch this. I really do. Lo- I like love oh, it. They had to make it good if it's taking the Kardashian slot. They did. They yeah. did. And they're promoting mm. the fuck out of it. So I apologize if people feel like, God, enough of this. It's That was not up to me. But yeah, it's, it's, I think people are going to like it. Hey, I'm excited to watch all right, it. So Thank you, May 1st. Um, I'm going to gloss over a bunch of these news because. You know, this thing's running pretty long. So we have a game, though, for her, right? Yeah, we have a game specifically for you. Oh, okay. So it's not too much pressure. It's not a roast, but we know you like to roast people. You're a comic. Oh, and, God. And it's good because you said you don't have TikTok. You don't really watch TikTok. Right. So we're going to have you react to TikToks uh, from the old Sway Boys, which is a like a, a band, oh bo- a, like a boy band that Josh used to be in, but it's without the band. It's just on TikTok and they dance like shirtless and stuff. Oh, great. So yeah. you'll react and you'll just give comments on what you think the video say to you so it's like take a boy band but take away all the talent yes right? and then okay. it's just you're in this boy band i was yeah you were was. and you're not they, any longer in this we're watching we're watching clips when he's no longer in it yeah so no well no the boy band has broken up oh okay all yeah right. and, and, and they were like these became the most popular like social media like 25 million people followers, in yeah. the world holy shit yeah. okay so these are the, the you guys inspired all men like these doing sweet ones. like hey baby and like walking towards the camera and then peeling off yes. like that trend yes, yes. we Josh did inspire that yes. yes oh fuck yeah. good job Correct. dude that's those are fun thank you thank you wow wiggle dickers <laughs> that's really okay cool. let's do it yeah dave coined wiggle dickers Oh, this! I love when they rub their hands together like something. They're about to do something. Get their hands <laughs> dirty. I mean, yeah. the the shorts being pulled up is that the style, or did they do that themselves because they just don't fit? Fit. Style. I just want to see them practice. That's what, my favorite thing yeah, about ha- these is I want to see the practice and I want to see. I always imagine whenever I get jealous of a girl on TikTok or like anything, I know that they set up the camera and then they go to it afterwards, and then I want to see them go like this. And their mouth goes <laughs> slack jawed, and they're like, they get hunched over, and are just like, eh. uh-huh. awesome I always have to ride it through. It's kind of like when you're on Zoom and you click leave meeting, and you're like, bye. And then you just go, and you're like, your whole yeah, yeah, face yeah. falls. Done with uh-huh. it. Right. That, that's done. That how makes many, you feel better. How many practices do you How need many for that reps kind of do you think that took, Josh? Or is that one and done? Uh, That could have been like a, maybe like a three. I'm thinking that's like I a guess three you got to rehearse it, right? You got to rehearse like a little bit, move. a little bit. Do you yeah, go especially into if like you're doing a dance. A, a, a booth to watch it so that you're out of the sun so you can really like see Yeah, you got it. a picture of like squinting. Like referees it do. Oh, no, like, it's do you it's go pretty the, it's pretty laborious work. You do have to squint your eyes and like just look yeah. at it while you're still in the sun. Who choreographs like, this in the sun? Uh, there are usually other people. other people like make the trend and then like everyone kind of hops on and like everyone starts doing the And then the really hot people get like all the credit. For it. Yeah, right. It's yeah. So it's okay. So, so it's like an average richer, person baby. makes it. <laughs> the hot person it. redoes it, and they get all the credit and the money. Oh my god! It's, it's like, is there just sometimes where you're like, I was my face wasn't in it. Like I got to make a cooler face. I got to make a like a sweeter, like sexier face. Well, sometimes like I like when like I was younger and doing like dance videos more because I don't do as many like dance videos in, yeah. in this time as I used to. Uh, I would really like 
like smile, like my face would make like very like uh, exaggerated, I guess, facial features. So I kind of would be like, oh, I got to chill out sometimes. Yeah. Do you always do the rub your hands Next together one. before? And then afterwards, do you always laugh? Like, ha ha, that was so fun. <laughs> yes, that was the move. That is definitely a, a coin move for sure. Okay. That, that yeah. was everybody. Girls, guys. Next yeah. video. That, but everybody was doing that. Oh, here we go. Yeah, speaking of Josh, might as well do one of his. Yes. Yeah. Might as well. Oh, oh this isn't even a dance video, dude. <laughs> this is like, I was 16, just saying. It was a really long time ago. <laughs> okay, video. I get I it. So Honestly, hard. no roasting. You are just like captivating. You're a beautiful boy. Um, you can tell you're talented, you. you're confident. I want to know how many takes that took, and I want to know what inspired that performance. Um, I want to know everything. I want to know if your mom was like, dinner! Mm -hmm. And you're like, one Definitely. more mom. Like, I want to know the setting. Where are you? What was going through your head? How did you do it? Yeah, so parents' basement, uh, 2017. Um, I'm, I'm sitting there, see the trend, see someone else do the trend. I'm like, yo, they just got a million likes for doing this shit. I better do this, right? So set up the camera, put in a little B&W, black and white. Sure. Thought that added a little bit more lust, you know, a little more sexual <laughs> to it. Boom, filmed the video. Probably took me four to five tries, I would say. And then the mom was like, yo, dinner. Yeah. And I was do like, you hey. look at yourself and go, God, I'm a good looking guy. Like there's a part of you that knows you're cute as fuck, right? Like, you know. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. But like, okay. but like back in, it. I, you know. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't think today I look at that video and I'm like, I'm proud. Do of you that. cringe I think today, when you watch that? Or are you just like, yes, oh. yeah, yeah. So today I watch that video and I'm like, fuck, man. Did you think you were this? sweet then though? Like, how did you do that sincerely? Like, you knew that was like kind of lame at the time a little I, bit. I, did I, you I think, think it was cool? I, I think one, maybe I was just a very, I, I feel like I just came across this thing called being self-aware recently, yeah. right? Like we talked about this like two weeks ago on the podcast, um, but I think when, yeah, I was younger, I was just like, I saw the videos on the internet. To me, it was just like very much like, a, oh, I can get likes for doing this. Yeah. So why wouldn't I do this to get the likes to make my following go up? It just kind of like made sense in that way. Yeah. And then I'd go to school. And like everyone would just, all my friends would oh. roast me. Like, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm glad they did. But, I like it. Yeah. I mean, you were vulnerable. They, they roasted you because they're jealous of all the attention you're getting for doing something that they would be too embarrassed to do because they want to look cool and you risked looking uncool. I, and here you are now. I would say I, I achieved looking uncool, actually. <laughs> this is the opposite. I love this, this behind this the scenes. This, the <laughs> this is the opposite of a roast. This is the opposite of a roast. I'm also desensitized now to Josh videos. So I don't. I think we're good. That We get the yeah. gist there. Um, <laughs> yes. Do we have anything else? I think we have to do the BTS BFFs of the Josh going to stages and Fuck that, me. that stuff on the sheet. What? That's what people really want to talk yeah. about. Yeah. So the Josh, what? So Josh has like a new girl every week and okay. they're usually over his house to do the podcast. And last week he was talking about, I'm not going to have a new girl, a new girl. And he was spotted with a new girl last weekend and everyone wants to talk about it and find out who this mystery girl is, Josh. Oh my God. Who is it? Do we have like, what's going on? Do we have video? I think there is a video, yeah. Do these girls know that you're gonna that you're not gonna oh, keep yeah. them around? <laughs> like that they can't, okay. or are they trying to make it to the next week, like American Idol? Like, do they keep? Do they, they, they know, to know they're gonna be replaced? I think maybe each one's like it's I'm gonna be like, different. Uh, you, I bet it, I, they're like thinking they'll they'll be the one that'll be, change, change everything. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. I do need a girl to change me. So oh, if there's sure any out do. there. <laughs> Shut up. Where are you? Oh, I'm at a club back home in Canada. Yeah, I went All to... Right, did you know they the were girl? filming Everyone you? wants to know who the girl I didn't know who... The, uh, know. I, I didn't know who was filming me. Um, the girl... But you have to know you're getting filmed in that situation somewhat. Yeah, like I kind of was like, oh, this will probably be somewhere. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. Uh, but I, I, uh, I don't, I guess the girl's name is Kier, Hilarious Kieriana. that people had to find out for you. <laughs> I read it on the Visco. I, I forget her name, but sweet girl, really nice girl. Uh, great night. Went, went to stages, had a fun time. She came, like, I brought her into the table. Like I got all the, like my friends from back home at table and then she got to come in. Like we were taking shots or whatever. And then I guess I was in a different world because I randomly posted my one of my best friends from back home and another girl like just like making out or kissing and I just posted it on my Instagram. I don't know why or how I did it and I also don't know how it got deleted. I guess I luckily deleted it too, but 
Fuck, it was a mess of a night. <laughs> I didn't hear, well, the good news, I didn't hear a word about that. I didn't even know what happened. So. I love this kid. People clamoring You're about just it. out there like learning lessons. But Living that is life. like, I think that is my kind of, I'll admit, it's my dream for someone to give a shit about me at a bar, like talking to a guy and filming it on their phone yeah, and like you bust, care like, that much about me. Uh, that would be awesome to be I want to I would I love like to see a paparazzi shot like of me like kissing day. someone on a street yeah yeah, that's, yeah. you made it Josh that, you made it in my mind you did you should go you, on Fuckboy you Island you should oh my I, god Josh you would be amazing but I feel like we already know what you are yeah no are no here? no we don't know what, what I am you I'm a pretty change. nice guy we've changed I'm a really nice guy I believe it actually you're just Thank having fun. You. You're supposed here? to. Yeah, exactly. 20. Exactly. Exactly. Do not it's settle down. Get out of here. Old. You're not going to find a girl you're going to marry right now. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Fucking crazy. So that stage's girl was not this girl then, the one you're talking about here? If you having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 no. problems, but a bitch ain't, this ain't good. Got- no. Cups of the rose. Bitches in my old phone. No, that's not the girl from. Are you of age? About. Are you legal in this video? Yeah, this is like last week. Legal? Yeah. Okay, you're. This was like last you're, week. You're an attractive boy. What? <laughs> Wait, who Can knew you? there there was this hair but under that cat? You look so different. Okay, yeah, you're a cutie. Thank you. But that was Thank ridiculous, you. and who? that was more embarrassing than the one you did at 17 who, by who, far. Who are you oh, talking really? about? <laughs> who are you talking uh, about? I was uh, girl that I'm talking to. Mm. I guess famous? Nah, not really famous. No, I wouldn't say like super famous at least. So if you say it, Brie was not going to know who it is? Uh, yeah, I, I would yeah. say Brie would not Brie would definitely not know who it is. Hmm. So how long has this us. been going on? So but you were making out with another girl last weekend, but then you're waiting on this. Well, girl. I wasn't making out with that girl. I was just dancing with her in the club. Okay. You didn't yeah. need no But, but no, 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 no. The, I would say it's just kind of been re- like pretty recent in like the sense of like where I've been like, why am I like, why am I always like waiting to Snapchat this girl back? Or like, why do I always want to like hear from her? Why am I always kind of like looking at her? Did she, you know did she I mean? write you back it's after like that? Did she ones. see it? Did you see that she uh, saw I don't it? think she knows. I don't think she knows she's the girl though. Yes, she does. Like, yes, she does. She didn't say nothing about it. She didn't say nothing about she's it. She's going to be the one to change you. Maybe. Possibly. I hope. I hope. <sighs> she's, that's, she's doing the Nikki Beach thing. You don't want her until she doesn't want you. Exactly. So girl, if you're listening, do never give in to this dude. She's been playing it so Beach well. Thing to get me. She's been <laughs> yeah, doing right? it great. <laughs> Dave's still thinking about it. <laughs> no, they fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, you're not going to tell us, Josh. You'll keep us updated. Maybe have her on a guest next week. Um, Nikki, thank you. Congratulations on all the success. Thank Your you, show Dave. May 1st. Tune in on E again. Uh, what, so what time is the Kardashians on? Nine? Nine. Nine? Yeah, nine, yeah. ten. Uh, so that's when you're on. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yes. Okay. Uh, all right. The calendar. Yeah, DVR yes, it, please. That. If you have cable, we please watch this fucking show. You yeah. know, like, even if you don't watch it, just, I'm dying just for a second DVR season. it and get the ratings. Yeah, yeah. please, thank you That's for you saying need. that. I yeah. appreciate, it. and you will like it. It it moves fast like TikTok. Like every scene, this is not a typical show. This is a fast show. Not You'll like slow, it. not boring. Sweet. Yes, yeah. Thank you for having me. This was so right. fun. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki.